Today, we answer the age-old question, should you use a hydrometer or a refractometer? The TLDR version. They both work, but each has pluses and minuses. So let's go through a few of those. So when it comes to taking your original gravity, which is like right when you're making your brew, either one does a fine job. The advantage to the refractometer is it literally takes like two drops in order to take a reading. No big deal and no conversions to make. If you use a digital refractometer, they measure in bricks, so you'll have to convert to specific gravity, which isn't a big deal, but it is an extra step. The hydrometer in for an original gravity, well, the only disadvantage is you have to take a sample out. Now in primary, it's not as big of a deal, but when you start doing it further on down the line, you could be introducing, you know, infections or oxidation possibly. It, it, it is a thing. I personally like the hydrometer all around, but that's just me. That's for original gravity. For your subsequent readings, basically once fermentation starts, now that's when things get a little bit different. And for the sake of argument, I'm treating the digital refractometer and the regular optical refractometer as the same thing because they do essentially the same thing. But like I said, you have the one extra conversion for the digital refractometer that you don't have to do with the optical, okay? Once there's alcohol present though, the hydrometer is still accurate, the same, okay? As accurate as they can be. The refractometer, however, now you have to use a calculator because there's a conversion because light doesn't pass through alcohol the same as it passes through water. So changes things a little bit. Is it a huge deal? Probably not because you're probably going to use a calculator to make your calculations anyway. So going to a website on your phone isn't as big of a deal or if you have an app or something like that. Then when it comes to your final gravity reading, much the same story. You have this is just going to work. The refractometer though, you have to do a calculation because that alcohol in there makes a difference. Now, one major plus to the refractometer is along the way, you only use two drops each time. And that means you're not putting it back in. So there's much less chance of infection when you're using a refractometer. Using a hydrometer, there is a chance. However, if you keep everything clean and you use good practices when you're taking your samples and pouring them back in, you probably won't have an issue. We have never actually gotten an infection by using a hydrometer this way. Another advantage to the regular glass hydrometer is it makes you feel a little bit more like a mad scientist, you know? I like that. What's our preference? Well, if you watch any of our videos, you probably know we have had Herculometers, which is basically the same as this glass hydrometer, as I like to call them, but they're virtually indestructible. We have a video showing how strong they actually are versus one of these. I actually just really like the straight up hydrometer and this glass cylinder that we got from Brewers Elite along with the hydrometer, just it's very beautiful to work with. It's very easy to read. I actually really like it. What's really funny is every time I get out the refractometer and I use it at all, I always say, I need to use this thing more. I need to start using this. Yet every single time we go to do a brew, I reach for the hydrometer and glass cylinder. It's just the way I do things. Is either one better? Well, no, they're just different. So it really comes down to personal preference. As long as you can get an accurate number in the end, it doesn't matter which one you use. This doesn't require any extra computation. It's simple, it's effective, and that works for us. The refractometer is a little bit more complicated, not really, but it does require some extra calculations. A digital refractometer takes that a step further and requires another conversion, but again, not a huge, huge deal. Just my preference is keeping it simple, glass hydrometer with a glass cylinder. But if you have questions about which you think you should be using based on your current situation, ask below and I'll be happy to help you. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. <laughs>